Welcome back to another tennis tour vlog. Also, I wanted to kindly thank the sponsor of this week's video, which is Shopify. As some of you know, I really rely on Shopify when I'm on the road to stay on top of things and to stay engaged with my business while I'm overseas. So I can be anywhere and always manage my shop and manage my business. I really feel like I'm in control of my business through Shopify and it really has empowered me to be the best that I can be. I feel like even when I'm not in the office, I'm up to date. I have the numbers, I have the analytics. I also have the power to adjust and tweak my online shop. You also can get a free trial with Shopify, which is really nice. I know that as soon as I started using Shopify personally, I knew that there was no going back. So it's really cool that they are partnering with me on my YouTube and that this is just such a organic part partnership for me and I think that some of you guys might know that I use Shopify because when I do launches I show the live screen of where everyone is logging in um, in different places around the world and that's been a really cool experience as a brand owner there are just so many special features that make Shopify different amazing themes for your brand name generators help you create your brand a really incredible customer service team who is always there to help and just an online shop and workspace that makes sense it isn't too complicated another reason why I love Shopify and then we can get into this vlog is I love how they support and help small businesses they really help you build a modern online store and help you reach all your goals as a business owner so if you want to redeem that free trial go to shopify.com slash page Lorenz. So thank you again to Shopify for sponsoring this week's video and let's get into the vlog. not raining today right now so nice well i would say it's so nice i am with my mom right now tommy is at practice so if you guys didn't know some of you might from my vlogs but when tommy wins a match the next day he has off so it always gives you kind of a day off in between the matches to enjoy the city that you're in because on match day that's kind of like all that i do or that's going on besides work so I'm just with my mom. My mom is here for the tournament and we're just gonna walk around. I think we're gonna grab like a coffee and something to eat while Tommy's at practice. We might go to this little cafe. I talked about this on my Instagram story while I was home last week but I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my YouTube I hyper fixate on foods badly I don't know what that says about me but it's I've been doing that since I was little she has been and my hyper fixation when I was home was oatmeal with apples here it's been beef tartare which is Nance which thinks is it's really gross I think it's so good and your hyperfixation is spring rolls. I mean, you ordered steak far far more than I've ordered spring rolls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we 
are about to head to the Musée d'Orsay. Is that how you say it? Musée d'Orsay. Is that how you say it? Hmm? Musée d'Orsay? Musée d'Orsay? How do you say it? M Orsay. Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. Yeah, there. Dorsay. Dorsay? Dorsay. 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 So I was really wrong. <laughs> Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. Dorsay. Yes. Oh, Musée d'Orsay. And it sounds like another language. <laughs> Anyways, we are heading to the museum now. I'm really excited about this exhibit because some of my favorite artists have pieces in this museum. So I'm really, really excited about that. There's a whole impressionist gallery at this museum and we're really excited. There's also a special Van Gogh exhibition, but yeah, that cafe that we just went to for lunch was really, really good. I'll leave the name for you guys. I know that it's really overwhelming when traveling to Europe because there are so many random cafes. Some of them are really good and some of them are really bad. And my mom and I were just walking around and stumbled into that cafe. So that wasn't like a plan that we had and it was gonna be 50-50 if it was good or not. And it was really, really good. Didn't you really like yours? Yeah, it was really good. Everything was really good. Um, so definitely recommend that little spot. I'm also a pretty big review girl. I check reviews of everywhere that I go and this place did not have great reviews, but it was quite good. I found that in Europe. Like I found that at multiple spots where the reviews were like a 3.5 and the restaurant was really, really good. This is actually the second museum we've gone to while here in Paris. We went to the Louvre on the day that I wasn't vlogging and it was really amazing. The museum's a little bit smaller, right? Yeah, much smaller. day the museum was incredible my mom and I had a really good day obviously this is super personal opinion but I enjoyed that more than the Louvre I just absolutely adored that and the paintings there it was really really incredible and like honestly moving to see them in person don't you think yes like it's really really incredible wrong way but yeah. Look who we found. Nice to meet you. Hey. Did you just get here? Nice <laughs> to meet you too. Where are we going? We're going on a walk. I don't, you, I'm following you. That's your first mistake. <laughs> Should we race? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> There's more. that he's gonna eat candy before dinner, to my dismay. Every time. What are we doing? <laughs> Eating candy. <laughs> Pre-dinner? Whoa. No, come on, put it back. <laughs> we gotta do something we else. gotta get one of them. Wait, do you want one of these big strawberries? I want these gummy cherries over here. The gummy cherries. Oh, those do look good. Have you had them before? Wait, no. these look really good. Show them these. I also really like those little, the dot things. These? No, the ones next to it, yeah. Those? Wait. But they're, I mean, we're really going off pre-dinner, huh? Are, are we loading up for after dinner? After dinner. Well, I, I like that. As long as you can get out. Wow, that's a lot. I'm with it. All right, now bring it over here. Oh, 
Nice. Ooh, good. The octopuses. Yeah. Octopuses. And then a few of these. The Eiffel Tower. Look at that bag. That's scary. <laughs> Wait, well, we gotta get one of the big sharks. <laughs> just back in bed now I have the candy that we bought last night Tommy lost his match today it was a really close match his opponent played super well sometimes close matches just don't go in your favor and that is just tennis but on the bright side this is the end of the season not really I've tried to explain this on my vlog before there is no off season really in tennis like baseball, basketball, hockey, they have a full blown off season. So we don't really have that, which is crazy. One of the many crazy things about the sport of tennis. I obviously get to go home and stuff, but I don't get to go home or like do anything with Tommy really besides tennis. Yeah, I'm looking forward to him getting time off and us spending time together in Florida in the new house. Okay, hey guys, I was just on a meeting for a while, um, but I have another meeting and I have a lot of packing to do. Tommy went downstairs to grab a beer with his physio and his coach and I couldn't go because I have a few meetings, um, but it has been an incredible year for the both of us and I feel like I've learned to gain so much respect for the sport of tennis. For him, he started the season ranked 30-something, 30 35 maybe in the world. He just ended the season ranked 12 in the world. So just an amazing season, really. Just so proud of him.